Today we're going to do a max load test on the Titan solar generator because on our previous test it failed and it did not work as advertised. In my previous Titan failed because there was a problem with the over temperature circuit, one of the resistor values was wrong and it was a manufacturing defect. But this one should not have that problem and should work as advertised and all the other Titans that are being shipped out right now. So yeah, let's test it out. This morning I connected 600 watts of solar panels and we have an open circuit voltage of 110 volts. So Fast forward a whole day later and the Titan is fully charged. I use solar to charge up to 75% and then last night I used an AC charger to get up to 100%. We have 1500 watts over here and 1400 watts over here. We're going to run this load for as long as possible and we are pulling 3.2 to 3.3 kilowatts from the battery shunt. So this is a very strenuous test and previously it cut out after only 3 to 4 minutes but this one should be fixed so yeah let's see how long it can run for. The Titan is actually passing this test, so I switched it over to kilowatt hour counter mode, and we're gonna also do a capacity test. So we ran a 3000 watt load all the way to 0%, but I'm not sure what the capacity is, I need to look at the footage real quick. So we measured 3530 watt hours at the AC output. Now we're gonna divide it by the inverter efficiency. We've got 4,152 watt hours, and these batteries are only rated for 4,000 watt hours. So it actually exceeded the capacity rating at more than one C rate, which is actually really good. That's pretty impressive. So it's actually working as advertised. I'm so happy. So we're gonna add some solar power and charge it back up. Now we're charging at 835 watts. So as you guys know, in a previous video, we had a failure. The over temperature sensor was being triggered because one of the resistor values was not correct. It was a manufacturing defect. And so what they're gonna do now is long-term testing with max load on every single unit to ensure that this never happens again. The problem that I had was only on 15 units. So as always, I seem to get the worst luck when I do these videos, but it makes for good content because if everything worked, that wouldn't be very fun. Something else I wanna mention about the Titan is that the inverter standby consumption is very, very low for a 3000 watt inverter. Typically, they're around like 40 or 30 watts continuous. If you spend like $1,500 for a Victron, it's like six to 10 watts for the Multi Plus 2 but this one only uses 10 to 15 watts, and considering the price and what you get, that's really cheap and really good. That's why most people that buy these do run them 24 hours a day because the standby consumption is so low. Now I'm gonna test this unit for the next couple months in this shed with one of my solar arrays. We're gonna have 600 watts connected nonstop for a few months, and we're gonna use the battery expansion connection to charge up my large solar shed battery. So that will be cool and I'll do another update video in like three months or maybe two months just to see what happens. So I think it's a pretty good unit and everybody that's bought one really does like these things. So I'm gonna leave it on my website. I'm glad that they responded so quickly and they shipped this thing out in a couple days. And yeah, I hope you guys liked the video and I will talk to you later. Let me know if you have any questions below on more testing that you would like to see done with the Titan. I would love to hear your guys' responses. And yeah, I will talk to you later, bye.